Hey guys, welcome back to Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. First recipe out of the gate for season eight. If you haven't watched my trailer video of what the heck are you talking about about season eight, definitely click below because we have some new stuff in store for you. And it's sort of like a bonus recipe because we are going to be tasting the Daya chocolate cheesecake. I actually bought a Daya chocolate cheesecake and I know everybody you know, if you know anything about Daya cheese, you're probably already like, oh God, gross, like Daya cheese is so creepy. But I have never actually tried Daya cheesecake before. So after we make this recipe for my recipe of chocolate cheesecake, Jason and I are going to do a taste test. Basically, Jason is not vegan, but you're not against it, like, no. right? No, no, I, I love animals, I have animals, and if it was more convenient and easy to do, I would do it, but it's just very, like what do I do if I'm hungry and I have like a two hour drive home? Exactly. Like I'm not going to go outside and eat grass. Right. You know, like pull, <laughs> pull over to like the stop and say, yeah, let me go out yeah, there and like graze because, a little bit. And yeah, I'm not because gonna... that's what I do, right? Right. Well, so, I don't know what you do, but. I know you don't. And that is what is so perfect about this is that I am going to show you what I do. And you, and my hope is to show you and other people who are not vegan and who have the same sort of um, excuse, I want to call it, yeah. as you. I mean, look, I get it. I was not vegan either before I started this. And so it is definitely a learning curve. Um, but I am going to show you guys how to make really simple, delicious vegan recipes. And we are going to start it off today with this chocolate cheesecake recipe. So let's get right to the recipe. And basically what you are going to need is obviously some uh, vegan cream cheese, which is what I have here. I do like to put some tofu into my recipe for vegan uh, cheesecake. And I do want to just say really quick is that I was a cheesecake lover before I went vegan. Like that was my favorite dessert. So I have spent so many hours trying to really perfect the best cheesecake recipe. And I think I have done that here. So again, uh, chocolate here with a little bit of earth balance butter, um, any vegan butter will do. I do have some almond milk, some granulated sugar, cornstarch, cocoa powder, vegan lactic acid, a little bit of salt, and some vanilla extract. And that is going to be the base for our cheesecake recipe. And then, of course, I do want to have a crust for my cheesecake, and that is going to be um, some chocolate sandwich cookies, some vegan chocolate sandwich cookies, and a little bit of melted vegan butter. So we're going to go ahead and get right to just mixing this recipe. You guys are going to see how super simple it is. And um, yeah, let's just get right to it. So easy. All right, so first of all, this is going to make a seven inch cheesecake. This is just my famous professional bakery pan grease from my bakery days. You guys, if you are having trouble with like releasing cakes, you will not have trouble anymore if you grab this recipe and all the links are going to be below this video to grab all the recipes that you need to pull off this entire recipe. If you're noticing, I am using a cake pan, not a spring form pan. Um, and I will link below to my explanation for why I hate springform pans. But then I put a parchment paper circle in the bottom. So the next thing that we have to do is make the crust for this cheesecake. And I'm going to be putting my chocolate sandwich cookies in there. And I know right away, yeah, get rid of that one. Don't eat any. You, you well, used to have a habit of eating my ingredients. I was actually about to eat it, but I missed it. Yeah, good. I'm <laughs> glad. All right, so into the food processor to make this crust, and I just have my chocolate sandwich cookies in there. Oops. All right, and now I'm gonna just be pouring this melted vegan butter through the feed tube as I am just spinning it. fridge and then we are going to make our chocolate cheesecake batter. All right, so now that we have our crust in the refrigerator, just kind of hanging out there while we make the chocolate cheesecake batter. And it is so simple to make this vegan cheesecake, guys. Like, really, all you need is a food processor. You can use a high-speed blender as well. So all of those ingredients that I talked about, there's the spatula. 
in the beginning, which is our vegan cream cheese, the firm tofu, sugar, corn starch, the lactic acid, and the reason why I use lactic acid whenever I make a cheesecake is to give it that characteristic tang that cream cheese has. And um, it really does help, but if you don't have it or don't want to buy it, you can definitely use apple cider vinegar and that kind of works too. A little bit of cocoa powder for that double chocolate effect and some salt, vanilla extract. All right. So I do like to get those ingredients in first, kind of get them smoothed out on the processor. And then through the feed tube in the top, I'm definitely going to be adding in my almond milk. You could use soy milk, um, you can use oat milk, hemp milk, like whatever kind of milk alternative that you prefer. Can you use cow milk? No, oh, okay. you can't use cow milk in a vegan recipe. Stop with the teeth. <laughs> you said any kind of milk that any you want. Any kind of milk alternative. All right. All right. Just, so you know, keeping you on your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do a little scrape down of the sides, and now I'm going to add my melted chocolate with the vegan butter that I didn't mention. I melted that either in the microwave or on a stovetop over a low heat. Just get them melted together. And then we're going to go ahead and put that in. Pull your own teats. Pull your own teats. Go vegan. Right. Leave the cows out of it. Right. Cheesecakes are typically baked in a water bath. It is a very gentle uh, baking environment, so you are going to want to do that. Preheated 350 degree oven for one hour. Then after that hour, we're going to shut the oven off, but leave the cheesecake in and let it cool down for another hour as the oven cools. So um, let's go ahead and get this baked and we'll pick it up from there. And this is what we have, a fully baked, wonderful, delicious chocolate cheesecake. So we're going to go ahead and unmold that. And you guys know me with my trusty blowtorch. This is the way that I like to unmold cheesecakes. And um, of course, I would love it if you bought one because it's not only really effective, but it's badass. You can totally unmold this just by... <clears throat> submerging this cake pan into some hot water or just using a um, hair dryer would be the same effect. So let's go ahead and unmold this. It's basically just to release the fats that are keeping this cheesecake in the pan. Oops. And then I take a little spatula and just sort of kind of help it release a little bit like that. Whoops, I'm melting those cookies. So I am just going to put this piece of plastic wrap over the top and that is really just so that I can flip this out and then invert it onto a serving plate. There. See how easy that comes out? Like you do not need a springform pan guys, trust me, they are more trouble than they're worth. So then you're going to go ahead and put it right onto your serving plate okay. so then we flip it. Pull off that plastic wrap. Let's now take a look at the Dea chocolate cheesecake, which is what we're going to be putting this up against. We are going to do a taste test of, you know, is it really worth it to make your own recipe of cheesecake or should you just buy one? This was about nine dollars and I haven't done the cost breakdown on this one yet, but I will do that for you guys because we definitely want to see a really true comparison of the Daya cheesecake versus the homemade one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one Gretchen's vegan bakery style. Of course, you don't have to do this with the addition of the buttercream and the little garnish that I'm going to do, but I am going to make my vegan buttercream by simply adding a little bit of vegan ganache to my buttercream recipe. And this vegan ganache recipe here is simply 
four ounces of vegan chocolate to two ounces of almond or soy or oat or whatever kind of teatless milk you would like teatless. to use. I can't get on this teatless stuff. Well, you're going to get on board once you <laughs> taste this, trust me. So whatever milk alternative you prefer, it's just four ounces of semi-sweet vegan chocolate to two ounces of milk alternative melted together. And I'm adding that, and I'm just eyeing it. But of course, at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com, I do have all the recipes listed out. So the moment of truth, we have made the luscious double chocolate cheesecake, my recipe, that I know is just going to be amazing. And now we are going to taste the Daya cheesecake that I bought. I had a hard time finding this, honestly. I had to go to like four different stores. <laughs> yeah, just open it. I mean... All right, first of all, can I just say, look how little this thing is. This is like a six inch little cheesecake and it's about one inch tall and it was $9. I, I, that would make me not go vegan, just that. <laughs> just to buy a $9 <laughs> little one. This is, like a, on it. Yeah, this is like a one serving cheesecake. So we're gonna taste it, test it up against mine and see what we'd like better. Maybe this one's better. Wait, should I put it on a plate? All right, which one should we try first? Let's try the Daya one first, okay. right? Because then we'll get an idea of like what vegan cheesecake's supposed to taste like. So just dig into it. It's just you and me. Mm. There is a crust on this, but you can't even really tell. There's like no taste to it. Am I supposed to make the faces too? Oh, mm. <laughs> I don't know. I always do. It's my thinking face. Do I like it? You know, it's really not terrible. It's not terrible. It's really not terrible. No. I mean, I guess if you're like freaking out for a cheesecake, it's it's all right. It's good. Let's try mine. Make faces with this one. I don't know. Mm. Well, make the f if you like it, make a face. You can't compare the two though. Mm, that's way better. The texture's better. Taste There's like a tanginess to it, like a real cheesecake should. You know, and that's where I do add the apple cider vinegar or lactic acid to my cheesecake recipes because that's going to give the characteristic tang I my uh, mouth. Sorry. <laughs> that regular cheesecake has. Mm -hmm. So, mm, that is so much better. Oh, mm. Yeah, different texture, I think, too. Mm. It's more like a real cheesecake texture. The day of cheesecake to me is a little bit flat, well, a lot flat in flavor, but the texture is almost chalky, right? Yeah. Doesn't that have a little bit of a chalkiness to it? Whoops. You can, the way I would explain it, mm -hmm. you can tell this is missing something. Mm -hmm. You can tell it might be vegan or something, you know, missing like yeah. an ingredient. This you almost feel like it was it's real cheesecake. It's supposed to taste like this. Yeah. yeah. All right. So there's our verdict, the non-vegan take on vegan, two vegan cheesecakes. Obviously, I'm partial to my recipes because I think they're amazing. Like for me, cheesecake, even before I went vegan, was my most favorite dessert. So I spent hours and hours perfecting my cheesecake recipes. So definitely, you guys, click the links below. Go grab the recipe at Gretchen'sVeganBakery.com. If you want to try the day of cheesecake, by all means do it. But I would say save your $9 and just buy the ingredients to make my recipe. It probably, I am going to work it out. It probably doesn't cost that much more than $9 to make mine. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.